Now with a 7-1 lead, Elijah Dukes leans off and takes inside and stares out at Pelfrey. Dukes, who homered his first time up, took a first pitch fastball inside. Dukes known as a hothead, known as a bad actor, and he immediately takes offense. And his manager has to come out to rescue him. Benches do not clear. Managers come out. Lenny Harris, the Nationals hitting instructor, does come out to try and settle Dukes down. Not that close. Come on. But this is Elijah Dukes. This is a guy with a rap sheet 17 pages long. That's, that's just ridiculous. That's stupid. The last thing in the world, Pelfrey wants to do. He's here. He has. He's mixed it up in Florida with Cody Ross, and now he's got it with Elijah Dukes. This is why Tampa Bay took a guy like Dukes, who has tremendous, tremendous talent, and said, "We don't want you around." Well, come on. It's not even close. Which is that's absurd. It is absurd. Slider grounded over the bag. Fair ball. Extra base hit for Dukes. Tatis takes a shot at him, but too late, and Dukes pulls in with a double. So three straight sliders from Pelfrey proved to be one too many. Grounded toward the hole off the glove of the diving right. That'll bring a run home. An RBI single for Will Nieves, and now it's 7 to 2 New York. And Dukes took one more glance as he walked toward the dugout. He hears it from the crowd behind that dugout. One two to Dukes. Ground ball. Arjenas Reyes with the diving stop gets to his feet in the dirt, and Delgado scoops it out. Nicely done. One away. Well, we know Reyes can pick it here. Nice backhand, just tough on the exchange here. Had to kind of grab for it, lost his footing. Nice scoop by Mr. Delgado. Nice play all the way around. Mets two outs away from a three and a half game lead. And as Dukes moves very slowly off the field, he is hearing it big time from the Mets fans. You know, young Mr. Reyes, look at him. That is a very troubled young man who's going to have to learn how to conduct himself.